I was drawing before I was walking, so there was never a question. I was never going to be a train driver. I always knew I was going to work somewhere in visual communication. The only decision I ever made really was whether to go into fine art or graphic design and chose to go into graphic design because I felt I could reach a lot more people. So most of my work these days seems to revolve around type and type design and typography. I've always hated type. So I did a lot of record cover graphics right at the beginning and most of that stuff was around image. Um, it was only when I started to realise that type is also part of that image language that I got engrossed in that. At the time I went to art school here, um, Britain was pretty conservative, but it was around the beginning of the punk period, and that provided not so much an inspiration, but a permission to explore new thought. And that kind of rebellious spirit has been something that's pervaded all my work since then. I think what's happening to London now and has happened over the past couple of decades is it's become really multicultural. You can meet different cultures, you can be influenced by different thoughts and ideas and politics and creative sensibilities. And it's a constant source of possibility and creative inspiration, I think. As a creative, trust your own vision and just go out and take risks. It doesn't matter if it fails. It doesn't matter if people don't like it, but the important thing is to keep experimenting. I'm Neville Brody, and this is my work for the Remix Project.